Hey everyone, it's been three weeks since I did my first video where we introduced the grow lights and put the plants underneath. And I wanna tell you that a lot has happened since then. And I also wanna go ahead and say I'm sorry because we are going to insert a few clips from the first day with the grow lights and then the second day. And then also I think two weeks later because a lot of things have happened and I wanted you to see what happened. But anyway, this is what they look like right now. So let's go ahead and show you what I have from the first day, second day, and two weeks. And what I will tell you right off the bat is that the lights are all further away now than they used to be. So that's one thing, but let's go ahead and go to the other clips. Hey everybody, it is the next day after putting up my grow lights and I had the first full day of having the plants under the grow lights and I came to check on them a couple hours after the grow lights were on and I decided I would record this but I'll show it to you once it's been three weeks so I'll hook it into the next video. But this Mars Hydro light got really warm and it's actually on the dimmest setting right now. So this is the brightest setting and that's what I had it on. But I checked out on the plants after a couple hours and in my little Pearl von Nuremberg and Malaco, which had a really sparse root system, they do have roots, but they were almost burnt to a crisp. So I had to take them out. I also took the Aeonium Kiwi out, not because it was burnt, but it was also super thirsty and it got even more wrinkled. So I took those guys out and moved the dimmer all the way down. Now I think these ones will still be okay, although this, this one's getting thirsty, so if it gets worse, I will move it. And then the ones in the back that I just had randomly under there, I'm going to move them, or I did move them. So I just wanted you guys to see this because I was just going to tell you in the next video what happened, but I thought you should see that this was just after a couple of hours under the grow light, the Mars Hydro. And that's just because I think it's super powerful, plus it was warm, and then the combination of these guys not having... A very good root system so definitely powerful and i'll see you guys in three weeks this is day two so i just thought i'd update you and we are under the commercial electric light and everything still seems to look okay and our thirsty kiwi isn't any more wrinkled than before same with these other guys under the fight electric nothing looks more thirsty than it did before and then finally the Mars Hydro on completely dim at this point. This looks fine. This looks a, little, looks a little thirsty, but it feels firm. You see how it's all moving at once. I see some burning on the Agavoides, so I still feel like it's too far away. And then this one's the same. So what I'm probably gonna do after tonight is Get it a little bit further away and of course i took away the two that burnt and then also this kiwi was just so thirsty i thought i would wait and sorry if you hear my dog scratching at the door but from that last video we had our pvn and our malaco burn so just wanted to give you an update but this is day two Hey everybody, I wanted to update you on my grow light experiment and I know I said I wasn't going to be back for three weeks, but it's been about two weeks and some interesting things have happened. So I thought I'd go ahead and update you now. And if you haven't seen my first one, go back to my videos and watch it because I introduce each one of these lights and kind of give you the specs on them and tell you what I did. But uh, let's go ahead and start down here at the bottom because this one is the commercial electric and I don't know if you can see but I did put it on top of the box because I wanted them all to be about five inches away so let's pull these out and see how these guys look now just FYI the raindrop uh, succulents that I have under each one they didn't look great beforehand because they were the ones that I damaged with alcohol but the new growth did look good so if you look closely Here's my heart's delight. It looks fine. It's not stretched out. I just didn't plant it close to the dirt. The raindrops looks fine as far as the new growth. However, it's pretty dehydrated. And I will tell you, I've had to water a lot more often under here. The kiwi, still dehydrated. They were all dehydrated when I moved them in here. But same thing, I'm having to water quite a bit. The Agavoides is okay. 
also feels a little thin. I just didn't realize how often I needed to water. So what I'm thinking is that they're a little too close to this light. Purposorum also looks fine. Sorry for the focus, you guys. Purposorum also looks fine, but again, you can tell the leaves are a little, little wrinkly. So it again was gonna need more water. Now back here, we've got Luella and she's looking pretty good for the most part. I don't know why she's tilted that way, but she is losing bottom leaves, but those are dry, so those are normal. We've got the um, really thirsty Pearl von Nuremberg. That is a little droplet of water in there. I did water them this morning. Some of them I've had to water every couple days. And then the Malaco, super thirsty. So those ones in the back, those are some of my private collection. But anyway, of all the ones that we put under this one, that uh, these are all the ones that I put under each one. Of all of these, I would say that I'm having to water quite a bit and I need to keep them further away from the light. So what I'm gonna do after this part, I'm going to take this away. So that's at least two and a half inches further and I'll continue on with the experiment. So I'm gonna go ahead and push those back under and that's the commercial electric one. Now, further up here, these are the fight electric ones, the, and they're all LEDs, all three of the types. So let's look at these guys. So Purposorum looks pretty good, does not look as thirsty as the one that was with the commercial electric. Now you can tell I just watered these this morning. It doesn't matter how much I water this, it is also getting really dehydrated, this Agavoides. The kiwi did perk up a little bit, but if you look close, it's still drying out pretty quick too. Raindrops looks fine. I know, don't forget that the outside part was the part that was damaged, but the new growth actually looks really good. And then the Hearts of the Light also looks good. No change there. There's our Malaco, not bad. They were babies and they didn't have a super good root system, but they did have roots. And then also dehydrated Pearl von Nuremberg. So what I'm finding with this as well is that I'm having to water more often. And then Luella looks good. No big change between that and the other one. Still losing some bottom leaves. But again, that's what they do when they're making room for new growth. The other ones are ones that I already had back there. So what I'm finding with these lights, again, I need to get them a little bit further away. And since I can't get them any further down, what I'm gonna do is move the lights up higher. Same amount, maybe two and a half or so inches. Now, let's get to the really interesting one. So this is the Mars Hydro light that we talked about. And I will tell you right now, this is on it, uh, on the complete dimmest it will go. So this is how bright it was. And when we started this experiment, I had it on full brightness. Now you'll notice some of the plants are gone and that's because I put them up here, but Here's what happened. Day one, I put the plants under there. I showed you guys that in the last video. And midway through the day, I looked at the plants and I found the, the uh, Pearl von Nuremberg completely dried up. Now, I would go ahead and blame this on the fact that they didn't have as an extensive of a root system as the other ones, but the same thing happened with the Malaco. Now, I think this one could still make it, although I wanted to just keep it here and show you guys. And I did do a clip at the time that I thought I might put in here. So maybe I'll put it in here and show you guys. But since that clip, the other ones didn't look bad. I just knew I had to water them a lot. But since then, I got to looking and you'll notice these guys are on the outside. So that they're not even underneath the light completely. So the Purpose Arm had some burns on it somewhere, although I can't really find it now. But it's thirsty all the time. So it's it's pretty warm under here. The Agavoides had multiple spots where it got burned. Uh, let me see if I can zoom in, but I, I had them way too close. And that was just after a few hours. And what I did after I found that is I took out the two plants that looked completely damaged, which were our small ones. And I moved everything else a little bit to the sides and also I turned the dimmer all the way down. So the Heart's Delight actually is the only one that did not seem to suffer at all. So it looks pretty good. Let me pull up the raindrops. 
raindrops lost a lot of leaves. Now, I know, yes, it's normal for some of them to be dry, but some of the ones I think dried out a little bit quicker than they should have because remember, they all looked pretty much the same. So I'm keeping them like this on the outer edges. And then I've got the two other plants where we had the kiwi and the luella. The kiwi was doing all right other than getting dehydrated for a while. But after I made the, the Mars Hydrolite dimmer, a couple days, maybe it was a couple days or maybe it was the next day, but anyway, this is our kiwi now. So kiwi got really, really burnt. It could still make it again, but I had to put it completely over here to the side. And our Luella, same thing, extreme burns on this one. Now this is probably, well, no, this is my fault. I know this is a strong LED light. I put them all similar heights, so please don't make the mistake I did, even if you have this on completely dim. Start with this very far away from your plants, just to be safe. And again, what I'm going to do is, since I can't move these plants any further down, I'm gonna move the Mars Hydrolite up. I'm gonna move it up probably more like, I don't know, I'd say maybe, well, as much as I can get it up here. So you see, I've got it hooked at the top of the shelf. So I'll tell you how much I move it up once I get there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave all the plants, but I may get a new Kiwi and I will definitely get a new Pearl von Nuremberg and Malaco. So I'm gonna continue on with the experiment with all the same plants. The Luella, I will probably put back in because she's not dead. She's just really, really burnt and she'll grow out of it. So it's not worth throwing her away, at least not for the sake of the experiment because we'll be able to see if the new growth looks great. But I wanted to give you guys that update and I know it hasn't been three weeks, like I said, but now what I will do is change the heights of the lights or lower down my plants in the case of the commercial electric. And I'll get the new plants, the Pearl von Nuremberg and the Malaco, and I'll put them under here after I get the light further away. And then I'll give you guys an update later on. So let me go ahead and put that all together and then I'll show you what I've done. Hey everyone, this is my second to last clip of the video. And right here, I just wanna show you that I am back to the point where I showed you at the beginning, I have moved the lights further away and I'll tell you how much further, but it's at least two and a half to three inches away on every single one of them. But what I wanted to tell you is that I'm gonna be putting in new plants to replace the ones that are bad. So for example, right here, you know, I told you we had this kiwi that's completely burnt. So if I have another one, I'm gonna replace that one. And then where we had the Pearl von Nuremberg and Malaco that were not very, not very established, I'm gonna see if I can find some new ones to add in there so we can continue the experiment. And then on the second level, I don't think we need to replace anything. So we're just gonna keep an eye on that. And of course I have some other random ones in there, so ignore those. And then finally on the third one, I wouldn't have had to replace anything, but I just wanted to let you know that today I came into my room and I found this. So apparently my little puppy decided to pull out the Aeonium Kiwi from the bottom shelf. So here's what it looked like. It wasn't doing horrible. And actually you can hear him scratching at the door right now. It wasn't doing horrible, but it was kind of thirsty. Here's a few other pieces. So I am going to replace this, but this is just something that he did because I was keeping the, the box right there and my husband moved it. And so now we don't have one there. So I'm going to replace those and I'm going to come back and I'm going to tell you all of the recap, what we think about each one of the lights as far as how they're doing with the plants, and then we will move on and do another update in three weeks. Hey guys, I wasn't planning on doing a video out here, but I did want to update you on the Violacina that I beheaded a while back, the one that I thought had mycoplasma. So the babies look great. There is no sign of disease. And I've got three growing out right now, so pretty soon I'll be able to cut them off and put them into new pots. But wanted to put that in as a side topic, and now I'm going to get back to getting the kiwis and the Malaco and Pearl von Nuremberg, and then I'll see you back in the house. All right, 
everybody. This is the final segment of the video. And as you can see, the Mars Hydro is further away, just like all the rest of them. And they are approximately all seven inches away from the top of the plant, just FYI. I did put a new Pearl von Nuremberg in there with a more established root system. And I also put in a new Malaco and a new kiwi so there those guys are and everyone else is going to stay the same so we still have our burnt luella and that's okay because look the new growth is already looking good but anyway we're going to move on to the fight electric and down here i didn't have to replace anything everything was at least tolerable but i am keeping my old burnt kiwi from the top because i got to looking at it and the new growth still looks good so I'm gonna go ahead and keep her around just in case and then finally down here I did replace the kiwi because my dog took the kiwi away and this one is not dehydrated as of yet so there we go so let's go ahead and summarize so I've learned a few things so far it's been three weeks my first video was around January 2nd I believe but anyway it, it's been three weeks it's the 24th today so here are the things that I've learned so far. Number one, move all your lights further away, whether uh, no matter which one you use. Right now I'm keeping them approximately seven inches uh, from the plant. And you could always try even further if you're nervous because I will do another update in three weeks to let you know if seven inches was enough or if they still decide to stay dehydrated. Uh, second thing that I've learned, the Mars Hydro needs to be put on completely dim. So the dimmer is right here and I'm keeping this on dim from now on. So bright, as you can see, looks totally different, but I'm keeping that on dim. Now, third thing I've learned is you probably need to use a plant with an established root system. So, you know, these guys right here, they're living but they obviously are so thirsty and they don't really have that great of a root system or they didn't compared to the other ones. So have an established root system or at least start slow and maybe start your plants kind of further away from the light and then work them towards it. If you don't have a good root system or if it's just not used to a lot of light. And then finally, one other thing that I didn't really mention is possibly using some soil that is a little less well, uh, a little less well draining so i tend to use soil that is extremely well draining so most of the soil i use is a lot of perlite a lot of chicken grit not very much potting soil so a lot of inorganic materials so it's possible that if i were to do this again i would actually use a little more of the potting soil versus the inorganic stuff and then finally the other thing i want to tell you is that there is no winner as of yet regarding either of these lights I just want to show you an update and I'm gonna kind of give you a little, I'm gonna try to make a list on the video. So if you talk about Mars Hydro, Heart Delight did great, Pearl von Nuremberg and Malaco did not make it. Agavoides, Kiwi, Luella and Raindrops all got burnt and the Purposorum stayed really thirsty. If we wanna talk about the Fight Electric, the Heart Delight, Luella, and Raindrop did fine. The Pearl von Nuremberg, Malaco, Agavoides, and Kiwi stayed very thirsty. Oh, well, actually the Kiwi stayed slightly thirsty, at least in this one. And then finally on the last level, the Heart Delight, Agavoides, and Luella, and Raindrops did fine. The Kiwi stayed slightly thirsty. Of course, I had to replace it because of the dog. And again, like all the other ones, the Pearl von Nuremberg and Malaco stayed thirsty. So I can conclude that those guys stayed thirsty because they didn't have a good root system. But anyway, that is my three week update. And I'm so glad you guys are watching. Thank you guys so much for watching my channel. I hope you will subscribe if you haven't already because I will do another update in three weeks. And I hope you guys will see what's going on at that time. Thank you guys. Have a great night. Bye bye.